so welcome to the new session in this session we will discuss about cyclo converters as all of you are aware that cyclo converter is a device which converts ac supply frequency so basically there are two types of cyclo converters step up cyclo converter and step down cyclo converter the function of step up cyclo converter is to step up the supply frequency that is suppose the supply frequency is 50 hertz and the required frequency is 100 hertz so output frequency is greater than input frequency that type of device is called as step up cyclo converter step down in case of step down cyclo converter the output supply frequency is less than input supply frequency so here we are simulating a step down cyclo converter the output supply frequency required is 25 hertz where is whereas input supply frequency is 50 hertz construction wise also there are two types of cyclo converters one is mid point type transformer cyclo converter as seen second is bridge type cyclo converter the circuit of both the cyclo converters step up or step down remains the same the only difference is in the design of firing pulses which you are providing to the triacs or you can say fourth thyristors as are seen in the figure this device consists of input supply frequency ac supply of 220 volt rms and 50 hertz a mid point type transformer having three windings 1 2 and 3 winding 1 is primary 2 and 3 are secondary windings and having equal ratios that is the point which we are connecting the load is the mid point of the secondary winding four thyristors or scrs we are using p1 p2 conduct in the positive direction and n1 n2 when conducts the output is negative so as you can see the functioning is first p1 when conduct then n2 then p2 then n1 this sequence is followed when we want the output supply frequency to be the half of input supply frequency if you want it to be 1/4 then again you will follow the sequence p1 n2 then again p1 n2 then p2 n1 whatever the case might be so let us simulate this circuit first i am simulating this for 0.08 seconds that is for 50 hertz i will get four cycles as the time period of 50 hertz waveform is 0.02 seconds i am going for 0.08 so i will get four cycles so this is the output of a cyclo converter as can be seen on the figure window first wave form that is vsrc is source voltage 220 volt 50 hertz as you can see the time period of this is 0.02 this point 02 so frequency is 50 hertz now the output load voltage you can see that it is repeating after point 04 the waveform is repeating itself after point 04 or you can say up to from 0 to point 08 seconds we are getting two two cycles so time period is point 04 seconds and frequency is 1 upon point 04 that is 25 hertz and same is the case of load current the only difference is load current you are getting somewhat smooth curves these two smooths because the load is rl if you use a purely resistive load the voltage and current waveform will be exactly same so here we can say that this device has step down the 
AC supply frequency or you can say that time period of output voltage is greater than the time period of input voltage rather than T0 is equal to 2Ti or F0 output voltage frequency is equal to Fi by 2. Interestingly same circuit you can see this also. These are the firing frequencies which I am providing to the switches. You can see this it is providing to the following switches first one is for P1 second one is for P2 then third one is for N2 and fourth one is for N1 so P1 P2 then N2 and N1 so this is the firing sequence which we have to follow for the case the output voltage frequency required is half of the input voltage frequency. Thank you. Same circuit you can use with bridge type also. In that case the thyristors required will be more. This lecture is demonstrated by AK Tyagi for providing an insight in the control and design of cycloconverters on MATLAB and Simlink.